here from Footprint Tarot. I went online for a few minutes and had a look at this thing with Afghanistan and Trump's threat. I'm not going to do a reading on it. Basically, he's being an idiot. He's just telling Imran Khan what he, what he wants to hear. And, um, yeah, and I also think he, he's doing it as a bit of a diversionary tactic. Um, so, without further ado, I think I will move on to my speculations in the previous video about Kellyanne Conway. Is she losing her shit? Oops. Pardon me, a unicorn poop. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to do two quick spreads for her. The first one is just asking, is she losing her shit? <laughs> a unicorn poop. Uh, and the other is, what's going to happen if she keeps going on the path she's on now? She just keeps going. So, we'll do... Psycho we'll do a psychological spread on her first. It's a six-card spread. And then I'll do a choice spread, which is a five-card spread. And I'll go through and tell you what the cards mean as we go. Okay. Now, card one on the psychological spread is her desires. What are Kelly Ann Conway's desires? Hello, Bubba. Hmm? Give Mummy a kiss. Mm. You can smell, smell mummy's hair. Okay. Right. So what are Kellyanne Conway's desires? Shudder to think. I've got it upside down again. Okay. The hermit, she just wants to go away and not be bothered by anyone and lick her wounds. That's what her desires are. She's had just about had enough. What are her feelings? Ten of Moth. She's feeling burdened. She's feeling, oh, I've got to carry this whole administration on my back. You know, the boss is no help. Hubby is no help. Nobody's any help. I'm the only one who's looking at policy and I'm the only one who's doing the right thing. That's what she's feeling. She's feeling burdened and... Um, is it? Just dumb. Dressing herself up for martyrdom. What's causing her anxiety? Damn it, again, keep turning the cart the deck upside down. Okay, uh, <laughs> things coming to light. That's what's going to cause her anxiety. What else is going to come to light about this president that she has to go and put out bush fires for? What else? What else? Um... You know what? She doesn't have to be there. She's bringing it all, it all on herself. So, what has disappointed her? The five of beads. She's feeling left out in the cold. I think five of beads. No, five of beads. Sorry, is I thought it was pentacles. But five of beads is swords. What's disappointing her is um. She's doing her damnedest, God damn it. She's doing everything she can to win. And, she, and, and, and she's got to win at any cost and she doesn't see why she should have to. But she still goes ahead with it. Win at any cost. She's disappointed about the win at any cost attitude. But she's still in on it. I mean, she's still... She might be disappointed about it. But she's... She's not getting the victories that they want. And the victories she, are, she is getting, they're hollow. So that's disappointing her, that any victory she gets is just hollow. Hang on a moment. Most of you would have recognised the theme music for a lot of my videos. I um, just had a video, the last video, uploading and exporting to where it can be loaded up and... 
once it stops that now it starts playing so and if you're interested in that piece of music it's born barnstormers and it's by brian boyko it boyko is spelled b-o-y-k-o i know i've got b-o-y-c-o on the um on the back card but it is k-o and yeah i use quite a few pieces of his music and others as well anyway back to kellyanne Connery. what is disappointing her She'll do anything to win, and she, any victory she gets, uh, it, they're hollow victories, and that, she's finding that really, really hard to deal with. She's really disappointed that the victories aren't more substantial than they are. What's her guidance? Seven of Moths. Stand your ground, Kellyanne. Don't let them win, Kellyanne. You know, do whatever you have to do to defend me, Kellyanne. So she's in going to full on defensive mode and defend the occupant of the White House. I like Iana Presley's name for him. <laughs> and what's the outcome for Kellyanne? And oh she's bored of dragonflies she's going to end up being offered something she's not really happy with uh, a deal she's not happy with whether or not she takes it that'll be up to her uh, it could be to turn on the boss and not go to jail herself uh, she has violated violated the hatch act so many times um standing there and saying on the news i have taken on these women on policy so many occasions it's not her job to take them on on policy or anything else her job is to advise the president on that it's not her job to go out and take them on on policy it's somebody else's her job is to provide counsel to the president and keep a trap shut about her opinions on other politicians in my opinion, she violated the Hatch Act again today. Anyway, so that is her psychological spread. And there could be an offer in the future that she doesn't want. <sighs> okay. Just discovered I've got some reversals in this deck. It's going to take too much time to sort them all out, so I just... I rely on context for reversals for if something needs a reverse reading or not so we'll just yeah okay so now what is going to happen if she continues on the path she's on now three of beetles Stuff is going to come out about dirty money. Oh, underneath it, the world. Underneath, that was underneath the three of beetles, the world, and a completion of a journey. So we'll put that down there too. Okay, so this five card spread. Kellyanne Conway, the past. Ten of dragonflies. Happy families, happy families in the White House, happy families in the GOP, happy families in her own house. She was happy with serving on the Trump campaign. She was happy. She had, I think she thought she had a happy home. Um, yeah, she had some differences with her husband about Trump, but, you know, this was before Trump became president. So she was pretty happy home and pretty happy with everything, pretty happy with being in the Republic uh, in the Republican Party, being happy ha pretty happy with helping Trump get to the White House. Now <sighs> the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. She's just feeling everyone is stabbing her in the back everyone's out to get her her husband's out to get her the media's out to get her and uh, she's just doing doing what she's been asked to do is it okay and i don't know if that came up but it's just a low battery warning so i'll have to wrap this up pretty soon 
so she's she's feeling oh so I've been so put upon and everyone's stabbing me in the back and how unfair is that what's the best to come for her if she keep if she keep you know what's the best to come the best to come is disappointing news the page of B page of swords disappointing news if that's the best to come wow delayed and disappointing news probably also I also call this a cuckoo in the nest card maybe the best she can do is turn on Trump and be a little spy for people what's the worst to come for her nine of cups nine of dragonflies nine of cups is nine of cups nine of cups oh uh, this is the wish card but it's also the card of the greedy merchant trump it's often seen as this and i think the worst to come for her would be she's gonna go down in flames along with the, the greedy merchant um, and that's what a lot of people wish for her frankly um, she is not a universally loved figure what happens what's going to go happen if she keeps going down this path the king of swords is going to come and get her that's not trump as a, as, as a Gemini that is the King of Swords, the King of Justice. We'll just do a little bit of clarifying on that, on the last three cards. Best to come for her. Disappointing news about secrets coming out. Worst to come. Knight of Swords. Chaos trouble investigations happening quick and sharp about the greedy merchant and she's going to be caught up in it all and what will happen if she continues down this path nine of wands she's just going to be embattled and she's just going to have to keep building up her defenses and keep battling until she might eventually get some good news eventually I think she might have to defend herself legally I think she's got a little bit of legal jeopardy coming there um, which means she's got to build up her defences but I don't think anything too severe is going to happen to her um good news if you've got a lot of legal defenses six of dragonflies six of cups if she's lucky she'll be able to settle back down into the life she had before with her family and everything that's if george sticks with her I'm stuck with her so far so anyway that is my reading on kellyanne conway on her psychology at the moment and what will happen if she keeps going on the way she's been going uh, thank you very much again if you're new subscribers by the way thank you welcome um, and please remember to click like and share and thank you very much and I'll see you at the next reading bye